is your most respected taqwa piety or taqwa is the clothes of akhlaq and adab in front of allah and servitude to allah that is gained by following the sunnah of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam when a person is dressed in the dress of adab and taqwa not only will they reach their creator but also their beloved meaning that a relationship of love and beloved is established between man and god allah says subhanahu wa ta'ala o muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam say to my servants that if you want to love god follow me god will love you qul in kuntum tuhibbun allaha fattabi'uni yuhibbukum allah and this is the highest degree of man man's integrity which is obtained by following the sunnah of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam in the holy religion of islam in which the sunnah and in incomparable ada adab of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam have been surfaced and portrayed its beauty from this time man is born until he she dies is always guided by prophet sunnah which has always paved the road for his or her life since azan has echoed in the ears of the newborn according to the sunnah with the name of allah and shahadatain based on the oneness of god and the prophethood of the prophet until the word of tawhid are recited to him during all actions of life from eating drinking sitting and walking he she has always been guided with the teachings of prophets to his ummah even in tariqah and irfan where the spiritual behaviors and suluk are the trance of the prophet's adab and sunnah and is the path to reach allah subhanahu wa ta'ala even then the meaning of adab in the sunnah of the prophet is demonstrated in a special way Sheikh Muhammad Bahauddin Naqshban in the introduction of his Tariqat and Tasawwuf says Tariqatuna al-Adab Adab is our Tariqah Therefore we can essentially say that Adab in the Pro in Prophet Sunnah is a complete guidance of life from life to death from the beginning to eternity when man's life follows these holy teachings his ultimate goal which is joining Allah will come to reality as Allah says in his holy book ya ayyatuha an-nafsul mutma'inna irji'i ila rabbika radiyatan mardiyya fadkhuli fi ibadi wadkhuli jannati o confident soul return to me your creator happy and satisfied join my servants and enter my heaven how fortunate has been the person who would be addressed by this verse dhalika fadlullah yu'tihi man yasha Allah is the Father of all kindness. This is the mercy of Allah to whom He wants. Allah is the owner of all kindness. But Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says in the Holy Quran, "Inna Allaha malaikatuhu yusalloon ala nabi ya ayyuh aladin amanu sallu alayhi wa sallim wa taslima." Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammadin Nabi Lumi wa ala Ali wa Sahabi wa Barik wa Sallim. Allah Allah Muhammad sallallahu Allah Muhammad sallallahu Allah Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sallam when the prophet came among us there was sweetness in the air for the ones who listened closely and desired to be aware sallallahu Allah Muhammad sallallahu Allah Muhammad sallallahu Allah Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sallam and the word of God poured through him and eternity unrolled and in human form among us we saw the way unfold sallallahu Allah Muhammad sallallahu Allah Muhammad sallallahu Allah Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sallam all great idols stood before us and we bowed with all our hearts but the prophet smashed them all down for god has no counterpart sallallahu allah muhammad sallallahu allah muhammad sallallahu allah muhammad wa ala alihi wa sallam he was strong and pure as light is and his face shone like a star and his heart so deeply radiant that its rays have reached this far sallallahu
Allah, Allah Muhammad, Sallallahu Allah Muhammad, Sallallahu Allah Muhammad, Wa Allah Alaihi Wasallam, and the gardens of instruction, they have bloomed in constant flower, with sweet scented forms and meanings, bathed in God's majestic power, Sallallahu Allah Muhammad, Sallallahu Allah Muhammad, Sallallahu Allah Muhammad, Wa Allah Alaihi Wasallam, he was gentle with believers, unbelievers felt his wrath, for God sent him here as messenger, messenger to perfect the human path. Sallallahu Allah Muhammad, Sallallahu Allah Muhammad, Sallallahu Allah Muhammad, Wa Allah Alaihi Wasallam. O Muhammad, we do greet you with our hearts and souls and minds. With each breath we do repeat you, for God sent you to mankind. Sallallahu Allah Muhammad, Sallallahu Allah Muhammad, Sallallahu Allah Muhammad wa Allah alayhi wa salam O Muhammad, O Rasul Through this world of cosmic night Guide our lives through all our days To Allah, light upon light Sallallahu Allah Muhammad Sallallahu Allah Muhammad Sallallahu Allah Muhammad wa Allah alayhi wa salam As we enter year 2000 with our worldwide webs and space. May your teaching be before us to seek out and see God's face. Sallallahu Allah Muhammad, Sallallahu Allah Muhammad, Sallallahu Allah Muhammad, Wa Allah Alaihi Wasallam. O oh Allah, please bless our Prophet, all believers far and wide, all the angels, all creation, for your truth can't be denied. Sallallahu Allah Muhammad, Sallallahu Allah Muhammad, Sallallahu Allah Muhammad wa Allah alayhi wa salam every human in this world who should hear the prophet's name will then know that God is living when nothing else remains sallallahu Allah Muhammad sallallahu Allah Muhammad sallallahu Allah Muhammad wa Allah alayhi wa salam real quiet sallallahu Allah Muhammad sallallahu Allah, Allah, Muhammad, Sallallahu Allah, Muhammad, Wa Allah, Alayhi Wa Sallam, now big, Sallallahu Allah, Muhammad, Sallallahu Allah, Muhammad, Sallallahu Allah, Muhammad, Wa Allah, Alayhi Wa Sallam. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. الحمد لله رب العالمين والعاقبة للمتقين ولا عدوان إلا على الظالمين أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن سيدنا ومولانا وحبيبنا محمدا عبده ورسوله صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم One of the best known hadiths of Islam is of course the hadith of Jibreel alayhi salam. And in it we're shown how religion unfolds from outward practice, Islam, into faith, Iman, into Ihsan. It's the familiar division of religion into body, mind and spirit. And this term Ihsan excellence, literally, used here by the angel himself for the highest aspect of religion, has the primary sense of doing what is beautiful. It's a particular form of an Arabic root, and it means to make something beautiful, to do something that is beautiful. The word hasan, what is produced by ihsan, means beautiful and good at the same time. So it was used as a uh, name for the, it was new, used as a name for the grandson of, the first <coughs> grandson of, of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. 
beautiful and good. Hassan. So the hadith here is granting us...